In today's video, we're checking out the Gretsch G5422G in left-handed. This is, of course, also available in right-handed configuration. This is the Electromatic Hollow Body Double Cut Electric Guitar. Now, this being that it's hollow body, you would think it would have an extreme issue with feedback, but it doesn't, even at gig volume. I cranked up my amplifier and it handled it without incident, but it's on the border of taking off. So I thought what I'd do, rather than just do your typical rockabilly style track or blues track or whatever, I thought I'd record something a little different for the intro track, and then we'll get into some of those classic tones. A massive thank you to Sky Music for the loan of this. I don't get to keep it, nor are they paying me to make this video. All thoughts about this will be my own. If you want to check it out, I'll leave some Sky Music, Sweetwater, and Toman links down below. Here we go. Here's the guitar up close. The first thing to know about it is it's extremely light. This is a hollow body, so it weighs far less than most conventional electric guitars because there's not a lot under here. I thought it would have a block, but it doesn't, which means it is prone to feedback at louder volumes or if you add a whole lot of gain with your amp turned up. So just be cautious of that. I can kind of get away with it the way I record in this room here, but yeah, this will feed back, especially at higher gain levels. One of the trademarks of Gretsch guitars are the Filtertron pickups. These are the FT5E in both the neck and the bridge position. The toggle switch for the pickups is up the top here. We get three different positions we can choose from. We also get a master volume control over here, which I think is invaluable. I would love to see this on more guitars. It means you can have your pickups at any volume globally just by using this control instead of using the actual pots for each pickup. I think this is great. We also get a tone control that we can roll on and off. One of the things I noticed immediately when I picked up this guitar was how great it felt in the hand. We get a classic C-shaped neck, we get a laurel fretboard, and we get perloid neoclassic thumbnail inlays here as well, which are quite a bit different to a lot of other brands. One of the clear upgrades on this guitar is we get the new bone Graftech nut, and it's cut perfectly, no problems whatsoever. Here's the headstock up close. As you can see, we get gold hardware and we get the open back style tuners. All right, let's kick it off with some clean tones. I'm plugged into my Artist Tweet Tone amplifier on the clean channel. I've got a little bit of slapback delay thanks to the time delay from Crazy Tube Circuits. This is neck pickup. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Great sounding neck pickup over to both pickups. That's a great sound. It's nice and snappy, but it's still got the low end. And over to bridge. The bridge pickup has a whole lot of attack and attitude. All right. Before we get over to some lead tones, I just wanted to show you how the tone control responds on the bridge pickup. So this is with the volume all the way up. I'll go from all the way open to about half, most of the way off, and then all the way back open. Here we go. Most of the way down. So it really knocks off the top end, but not too much. It does get into that sort of weird territory if you leave it all the way on. It kind of starts to get a bit muffled. But anywhere else, it's extremely usable. Let's try some lead guitar tones now, thanks to the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal. I'm going to start on the neck pickup. Yeah, over to both. over to bridge have a listen to this Let's turn the master volume control down So it still cleans up just by using this volume control here. It's pretty cool. A little bit of tone control. Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this and if you wanna check it out, I'll leave links below. In terms of playability and usability, this far exceeded my expectations. Being that it's a hollow body electric guitar, I expected it to have a severe issue with feedback, which it doesn't have. Sure, it can feed back a little bit easier than a solid body guitar, but it's nothing like the Epiphone Casino that I reviewed a little while back, which is a good thing. It's far more usable off camera between Doing the demo and this part, I just had my amp cranked in the room at gig volume and it really didn't take off much. It starts to kind of hint at taking off, but not really, and that amp is really loud. So I was pretty impressed with the overall results in terms of its usability. Another thing I really like about it is the feel of the neck. It just felt familiar. It means I can get on this guitar and I don't really have to adjust to it too much in terms of my playing or feel or anything like that, which is awesome. I also love the fact it's far more playable further up the neck, again, than the Epiphone Casino. So I think this is a much better guitar overall. 
It's a kind of similar guitar in terms of its price, at least here in Australia, between the Epiphone Casino and this, but in a pinch, I would take this. It's just far more usable and easier to play, at least in my experience. Now, the only small thing you gotta take note of is you can't really bend up high without the saddle starting to ping a little bit. So just be aware of that. It's just one of those things with the design here. They're not really made for huge bends, but if you're playing some fast single note stuff up high, it's gonna sound clean and great. These pickups, these Filtertrons have a lot of attitude and attack and it works really well. So yeah, just watch the overall volume or gain structure that you're running through it, but it can handle what I threw at it in the intro track, which should be enough for most people buying this. But again, if you want it for classic rockabilly tones and blues, Americana, all that kind of stuff, it's a great guitar. I think it looks pretty cool as well. I'm not inherently the biggest fan of gloss white guitars, but that's all subjective stuff. But what I think makes it look great is the gold hardware. It's a classic combination, very reminiscent of that, you know, White Falcon style guitar. So yeah, it's smaller, it's lighter, and I like it. So let us know what you think. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.